Hey guys, so me and Anthony <laughs> are in the car. We're actually on our way. It's um what's today, Thursday. We're on our way to the DuSable Museum in Chicago. Um ORS, the hair care brand, is sponsoring a leg of the Black Love Tour. It's a show that's on the own network, and so they're doing this multi-city tour and they're making a stop in Chicago and so I was invited to come out and cover it for social media and whatnot so we're heading over we're a little late so we're here you guys at the DuSable Museum of African American History and I haven't been here in a couple of years I think the last time I was here was another like promotional type of event happening so it's been a little while best to get a cold quit just getting off work <laughs> thanks for coming hon all right, let's get in here. So this is the setup here. It's kind of cool. Oh, hi. How are you? This good. Is good. Hey, nice this to is see you. Hi. Yeah, yeah. How's it going? Good. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. you yes. Um, this is my husband, Anthony. Uh, is this like a panel or? Yeah. So you know they're gonna have one of the couples from the show. Uh huh. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. This is Dion, you guys. She's just showing us to our seat. Say hi. <laughs> she works on the ORS team. Great, great. So we're in our seats, just waiting for everything to start. Waiting to see who comes out. It's supposed to be a couple celebrities from the show. But I'm really excited. It's exciting. <laughs> Like not really. <laughs> I have a little sore throat. It's so annoying. So we moved a little closer just so we could get some better filming angles. So we're right down in the front here. Try to take a picture with Taj and Eddie. Hey! <laughs> hey. <laughs> We're gonna do a selfie. We're gonna get Ms. Vaughn first. Hi! you guys so talking kind of low because I'm in the urgent care facility but I had to come this morning because I had a severe sore throat like really bad I was actually feeling it a little bit last night at the black love event but I just fought through it um, but this morning it was severe like I didn't even want to swallow so decided to come they just took some swabs of my throat area and the nurse went out to go I guess figure it out the lab and stuff and then they'll be back and let me know like what the heck's going on and I'll probably leave with some medication today but yeah a lot of pain I had to take like two Advil yep so I tested positive for strep throat so I've got my meds I'm gonna go pick up shortly but before I do I'm gonna go get me something to eat um, since I'm already downtown I'm just gonna go to my favorite ramen place and um, yeah, I mean it sucks, you know, that I have strep throat. It's really painful, but I took Advil, so I'm feeling all right at least until that wears off. And I'm just gonna take my meds, and hopefully I'll be okay.
back home. I don't know if you guys can hear me. <laughs> I put on my little mask. But I'm back home. I just picked up my prescription from Walgreens. And it's penicillin. And I'm going to be taking um, two doses a day. And after 24 hours, I should not be contagious anymore. But right now, I'm so contagious. So that's why I have on this face mask. Um, because now that I know that I have strep, it's my responsibility to make sure that I am proactive about um, allowing people around me to contract it. And I definitely don't want Anne to get it. Hopefully, she didn't already. Um, but I'm just going to do everything I can today and tomorrow to kind of quarantine myself a little bit. I mean, nothing too dramatic, um, but I will probably be like sleeping in this room, which is just like our guest room slash my stepson's room when he's in town. Um, and so right now it's like a hot mess in here because it's kind of being used as a little bit of a storage room because this is where like all of my products and stuff are, excess stuff, like promotional items and things like that. And I put my laundry in here and my luggage and extra blankets and extra pillows and stuff like that. So it's really a mess in here, but not a big deal. So Anne is in the living room playing with her nanny and Anthony is still at work. I already told him about the strep thing. I already told Michelle about the strep thing. And so everyone's aware and so I'm just doing my part. <laughs> I'll be wearing this for the rest of the day. I won't be handling Anne that much because I just really don't want her to get strep. I mean, it's really painful. Like, it is painful. But, yep, when he got me some ramen and some ice cream today, and it made me feel a little better. I mean, if I'm going to be freaking sick, I might as well enjoy some of my favorite things. So I got some coconut ice cream, which was super delicious, um, vegan but probably some of the most delicious vegan food you'll ever eat is vegan ice cream. It's like, they just use like coconut fat and coconut milk and all that to make it. So it's just as creamy, if not creamier than like um, dairy ice cream. So it's really good. That was a nice little treat. And then I got some of my favorite ramen, um, which is really spicy and flavorful. So I enjoyed that. And it's about to have some oranges for our snack. And I'm making some hot water for some tea. This is my new mug I got from Walmart. This is such a cool mug. You guys know this is my favorite band from the 90s. And I'm gonna put some honey in there. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. <laughs> Yo, one glass of Patron to smash in its own, and I dash right back to the pad where I zone. Got a stash collection, double packs that I own.